Looking at this sequence, we can see the pattern fairly quickly. The numbers was seven, five, three, one. We can see that we are decreasing by two, decreasing by two, decreasing by two. So we can predict what should come next. B5 would be decreasing by two as well. So one going down by two should be negative one. B6 going down by two again should get us down to negative three and so on. This is something that's an arithmetic sequence. It's arithmetic because we are changing by adding the same amount each time. In this case, we're adding negative two each time. It's arithmetic with common difference, d being negative two. The common difference is how much is added each time. So in this sequence, although you probably are thinking about it as being subtract two, subtract two, subtract two, you of course could also be thinking about it as add negative two, add negative two, adding negative two, so that the common difference, how much is being added, is negative two. We know that the formula for this sequence, the general formula for an arithmetic sequence, is made out of your first term plus n minus 1 groups of your common difference. And we know all of those things. We know that our first term is 7. We know that the common difference is negative 2. And so the general formula for our sequence, for the sequence 7, 5, 3, 1, and so on, is 7 plus n minus 1 times negative 2. And of course, we can check to see whether or not it gives us all of the terms in the sequence. So for example, if I were to put in 4 for n into my formula, does it give me negative 1? Uh, does it give me positive 1? And the answer is yes. And in fact, I can check to see that it generates all of the terms in the sequence, the ones that I was given, as well as my predictions. So my general formula for this sequence, 7 plus n minus 1 times negative 2.